Hi everyone, Andrew Van Leeuwen from Speed Cafe here in Almeria in the south of Spain where we are celebrating 30 years of Duke with KTM. We've been here for a couple of days, a mix of riding around on the mountains, uh, some track work here at the Almeria circuit. It really has been a fantastic couple of days. Um, most people watching this will know that I'm definitely a car guy, not much of a bike guy, so I've enlisted the help of someone to uh, to explain a little bit more about the three bikes that we've been riding. These are the the, the latest bikes in the in the Duke range. Um, Jeremy McWilliams, uh, former MotoGP rider, long time KTM test rider, had a hand, a huge hand in the development of particularly the bigger of the two bikes. But I'm sure you've done a few miles on the on the 390 as well yeah, yeah. Um, over time. So look. Um, Let's start with the 390. Um, I can't believe, you know, we spent yesterday riding through the mountains in that thing. Heaps of fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is an eight and a half thousand dollar bike. Lambs approved in Australia. What a way to come into motorcycling. Like what an entry level bike. That thing is a weapon. It's a lot of fun, yeah. I, I sometimes get the uh, lovely job of doing, you know, making my suspension changes to it. So I get to ride the 390 as I do with the 990 and the, the 390 Super Duke and the GT and all, all of our range, but yeah, I, I have to agree with you. You know, if you want to go out and have some fun, like we were doing yesterday on the Gymkhana, mm, yeah, uh, it's it's an ideal bike to to definitely have a bit of fun. And, you had a big uh, go on the Gymkhana yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> I put everything into yeah. it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you got to there's a bit of a reputation on on, on the line right there, but I have to say that you know the trust I have in that little 390 to throw it about like we yeah. were doing yesterday, and as you say, through the hills. The, the B roads, you know, up over those, and they're twisty. I mean, those mm. those hills here in Almeria behind us, yeah. you know, they are probably the the most technical little B roads you'll ever find anywhere. So ideally suited, you know, for a 390 or a 990. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we took the 990 out on those roads again today. Very cold, I have to say, my fingers are still thawing <laughs> out after going through. It's not often you see uh, snow on the side of the road when you're riding around, particularly when you're from Western Australia like I am. But um. That's a fantastic bike, that thing. I think, you know, if, if I was going to buy one of these bikes, that's what I'd be going for someone. I'm a relatively experienced rider, but not overly experienced. I'm not into going really fast. You don't have sure. to go super fast on that bike. You can just enjoy touring around. What I loved, the torque from that motor made it not that critical to just always be in the right gear. Yeah, I could yeah. just sort of focus sure. on the flow and riding the bike, whereas on the 390, it's a little bit more critical to have it where you need sure. to in the gear range. Yeah. That's what I loved about that bike. You could just cruise around in third nearly everywhere yeah, and it's yeah. going to pull out of every corner. That's true. Uh, that's something that, that it's a trade of KTM, you know, to basically give that a lot of that mid range because that's what we are, how we enjoy riding. Yeah. You know, horsepower numbers aren't really important. Torque numbers, you know, Newton meters are what's make, what makes these bikes more fun to ride. As you yeah. say, the 990 is a, a, a very awesome piece of kit. It's very, very capable. Feels like it's, it's more than you know, than, than the numbers say. Actually, yeah. you know, I, I've ridden the 990 alongside this on the road and on the track. And the 990 is every bit as capable in most situations to, to hold its own against its big brothers. That was, I mean, a, a point that's been made by some of the more experienced bike journos that have, uh, are on this launch that the 990 around the track would have been a fascinating yeah. thing. We, we didn't have the time to do that, but that would have been a fascinating, like, is, is it a good sort of track well, day weapon? Chris Fillmore, you know, from the States, yep. also uh, ex-racer and, you know, helps with, with the test program over there. Jumped on the 990, got off it with a smile on his face and said, wow, we should be riding this on the track as well. Yeah, It's very, very capable. It, all of our bikes are, are d designed to work in every kind of situation, whether it's yep. roads, fast roads, twisty roads, B roads, or track, and they've yeah. all got those track settings in there. So at some time, they've been developed on the track as well for anybody that wants to do a track day. Yeah. Now, let's move on to the uh, the big boy here. I've ridden the 1290 Super Duke R before on the road. This thing was just amazing on the track. What's amazing about it? I like the, the numbers, the performance numbers speak for themselves. You can look at the thing and tell that it's going to be pretty fast. I've never ridden a motorbike on the track before. I was a complete mobile chicane out there today. Virgin, right? Yes, that was my first time. I was a complete mobile chicane out there today. But as powerful and as gnarly as the thing is, I never felt like it was trying to throw me off at any point. Like you can actually just go out there and ride it around and just enjoy riding it. It's a big, stable, like just, yeah, great bike. I mean, absolutely. Of course, it, these bikes are designed to work for every customer mm. you know, from the complete you know somebody who's just jumped off their little a license and, and moving up uh, you don't need to have much experience to ride a super Duke. yeah you know contrary to what 
the rumor might be because when we set it in a street mode or even like you're riding it today in a track mode with our traction levels up at four yeah. or five or whatever it might be or anti wheeling mode on so it, it you know we don't get any any lift up wheelie whenever you accelerate out of a corner of course it's really safe and i i would have to say that you know we you get that reputation that wow this is a, a beast but it's actually you know a, a lamb when you want it to be as yeah well. yeah in, you know, but it can be, even though it looks a bit. A but bit, it can be a beast, right? I'm sure when yeah. you get on it and go out there, it becomes a beast and a pretty, uh, a pretty awesome one. Well, at I that. don't know if you got a chance to ride the power parts bikes with everything on. You know, you got full with all of its system, etc. Uh, you know, our WP Apex Pro shocks uh, and, and fork, everything that, that that you need to to take it on for a track bike. Only, of course, is is on that power parts bike. But mm. these, we've been having a lot of fun with these bikes. This is the the R bike, obviously. Again, the suspension is fully adjustable to take it on track like this. Or we, as the manual will tell you what it needs to be if you want to take it on street or you want yep. a sports setting, it's all adjustable. But yeah, I have to agree that um, I'm glad that you said that because a lot of guys that have never ridden this bike before and then jump on it and realize that actually, you know, this is this is pretty it, pretty stable. It pretty doesn't secure. have to be, it doesn't have to be scary unless you no. want it to be. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, you can turn everything off. Yeah, so really and make it scary. Yeah. And, you, and you, you, know, you want to wheelie in a closed environment like this, like many of our, our journalists were doing today. And you know, we were encouraging them to do that, which yeah. is not like most yeah. I set but. out the wheelie session, uh, <laughs> funnily enough, but, uh, particularly as it was raining at the time. Yeah, yeah we need, we need, they, those guys needed some, some content. And yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's, that's awesome looking content. Yeah. But it also does give us a bit of a reputation for you know, building a a bike that, that only does that and of course it, it, it's a bike that's capable of doing everything from every level yeah thank you so much for your time to uh, talk us through those bikes if you are looking for a sporty bike uh, it's pretty hard to go past what ktm's offering with these three new duke products they really are fantastic so if that's what you're looking for get out there and buy one mm -hmm.